Welcome y bienvenidos a Puerto Rico. This is the Predator WPA World Teams Championship. The Predator, 16 international teams, two men, one woman, $300,000 prize fund, $120,000 first prize. The game is 10 ball, WPA rules, no early 10s, three sets of five, races to four. It'll be a ladies singles first, men singles, scotch doubles, team pick, and then a shootout if necessary. This is George Teichea and Tim DeRuder bringing you the live action from the convention center in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Tim, follow that up if you can. It's hard to beat. <laughs> so the leg came up a little bit short. So Spain wins the leg, so they get to choose who will be breaking in the first and the third set. And if we tie, then also who's gonna start in the shootout. The teams are comprised of Spain, Francisco Sanchez Reese, David Alcaide, and Maite Ropero. Their Fargos, respectively, are Francisco with an 840, David Alcaide with an 812, and Maite Ropero with a 630. Their opponents, Team Puerto Rico, Alan Rolón, a 739, Alejandro Mercado, no info, and Carmen Maldonado with no info in Fargo. Starting off will be the ladies' singles, Carmen Maldonado and Maite Ropero. Ropero to break as they won the lag. Well, guessing they want to start breaking. I mean, well, you never know because there's could, there could be a different strategy going on as well. See, so they won the lag Spain did, but are giving the first break to Puerto Rico. Maybe because they said, well, in the ladies' match, the break isn't that much of an advantage, so maybe we would want to have it in the men's. That's P a very good point and great strategy, Tim. Yeah. Nice to point that out. Mighty in the background there. Got him in breaks. Well, go for it, Tim. Well, pretty good break, actually. A nice yeah. action on the balls. Made a five in the corner. The one is open, at least. Needs a decent shot from the one to the two. Some good cue ball work. Two rails to just get the two ball on the side. Just past the nine ball. Just slide by the nine, catch the rail, and come for the two ball on the yeah. side. Perfect. Yeah, you don't want to catch the nine. You also don't want to get too close to the side because you might touch the two ball. So you really need to find the gap between the yeah. two and the three. She's got to come in real close from the first diamond on the head rail to the third diamond on the far right side rail or your bottom one on your screen is that line she wants to take. And she's missed the opening shot and is left. And this is why Spain probably gave up the break. Yeah, because especially in the women's matches, I don't think the break is such a big deal breaker in in these short sets where in the men I think if they get the break and they break a couple of good breaks it's easy to make two or three breaker runs now the first stage is a round robin four groups of four out of the 16 teams Mighty Ropero at the table. Decent position on the three. Would have liked to stay away a little bit more from the ten. It's awkward queuing. Still, if she stops the cue ball and floats the four, and is still all right. There are seven other teams playing right now seven other matches going on excuse me with the 16 total teams you have team spain versus puerto rico which you are watching team philippines versus team usa team germany and team indonesia 
Japan versus Portugal, Chinese Taipei, Canada, Austria versus Peru, Great Britain versus South Korea, and Poland versus New Zealand. Two the two streaming tables are Philippines and the USA, and Spain and Puerto Rico. Good recovery shot on the six. Felt like she got a little bit more angle. She held this one nicely. Really soft draw. Now she won't be able to get straight on the eight, I feel, so just stopping the, the cue ball here and go two rails up and down on the eight could work. No, she was able to still move it over a bit, so. She's got, she's gone so she can get very good on this nine ball. Yeah, just one reel. You know, you can also accept that you're not going to be straight on the 10, but if you could just go one reel towards the third diamond in the bottom long reel, just get past the side, you should be fine. If you really want to get straight on the 10, you can go one reel, top right spin to the top side of the 10 here, but then you're more crossing your, this way you're crossing your positional area. Yeah. And the speed is very important. That's why she just ended up on the rail. Playing the other shot just stun would have her near at some point from the rail. A good look at team um, Puerto Rico with Rolón on the left. Alejandro Mercado in the middle and Catherine Maldonado. They are playing WPA rules, so there's no early 10 balls. 10 ball must be the last, po last ball pocketed for a win. Angela Williams, your referee. She will rack and referee this match. There's Maiti Ropero, David Alcaide, and Francisco Sanchez Reese in the middle. Yeah, also we will see a lot of different styles this week in the World Team Championships because some teams are going to be very quiet, going to be very focused, trying to just do their job. And other teams are going to be trying to laugh a lot, try to hide the pressure a little bit. Yeah, ease the tension. Yeah, exactly. So there's going to be many different styles, I feel, Cue as ball. a team. Cue ball gets kissed in. Carmen Maldonado, Team Puerto Rico. Let's see, just that everything around the three is a little bit strange. Of course, she, she can play for a 3 8 combination. She's going to follow this up to the two and then go for the 3 8 combination, but I think it would make everything more tricky. So I would try to find a pocket where the three ball goes in bottom right I like going from the two to the three to the bottom right and stopping it there for the four everything's opened up yeah yeah for, for example she could also go two rails for the three in the left side pocket there's different ways you could go but then still it is everything is a little well, bit more scrappy around the three she's actually made it a little tough by getting almost straight in on this ball to come in a good place for this three ball and she's going to be closer, closer to the three and she's she, it's a little tight now because of the four yeah she's got a small angle running up Puerto Rico. towards the six Puerto Rico representing well here the fans are just full of Full of people. Oh, they love it. I think the one of the terms I saw was Barcua. They're fans. And she's hung that up. Did she leave a shot? Yeah. Solved the whole problem around the three ball. And caused another one with a seven, but the six ball's there to take care of it. Yeah, six, eight. Yep. Opens up the seven and use the same six ball to get on that seven ball. So I wouldn't be worrying too much about that.
Maite is, of course, from Spain. She comes over and plays the Pro Billiard Series events, the women's. Has done rather well, picking up her game as of late. So she's very familiar with the format. Well, it's WPA, but with the 10 ball and these Predator tables and everything surrounding her. She had a great outing the last time in Michigan. <coughs> Yeah, definitely a player who's been investing a lot in her future. Also back home in Spain, she works with a couple pros, you know, she practices a lot. She was not trying yeah, to she make would have the prefer six there. She would have preferred that to stay up. Yeah, but she played with a hair of draw, and that draw cost the six to get top spin, and that's why it followed the eight. In this case, probably just a stop shot would have been just okay. Little tense look from <laughs> David Okaida. <laughs> yeah, chose to just make the seven and not make it any tougher than it is, but this nine still needs some work. She's gonna have to hit it with a little pace because I don't think she can hold for it. She's gonna have to go across and back again. I feel she'll have to play top left and go two rails. I like the way she's playing it. Oh, she's playing oh, she's it very soft. It. Oh, wow, wow, what, what a shot. shot. What a nice shot. You know that, believe it or not, was really scary. Yes. Cutting the ball that yeah. speed. That speed, sure. And you're not even sure to hold it, but great run out. And Mighty Ropero, Spain strikes first with the first win. Yeah, In nice. this format, keep in mind that it's a race to four. Up next after the women's women play will be the men's single. And then the exciting part is the mixed doubles. So the women play a big role in this set because two of the first three points available depend on them. Puerto Rico has barely, she just missed that one ball and uh, might have took control. And here we are, game number two. Oh, pretty clean run out as well for Maite, looking to be in good form, making two balls on the break. I think she's got the one in the side as well. Yeah, she came through with two really nice shots there in the first game, that seven ball and then that nine ball. And then ball. the nine oh, was wow. even more impressive yes. than the seven. Last year, this tournament was held in Klagenfurt, Austria, and Team Philippines defeated Team Great Britain in the final. In the semifinal, the Philippines defeated Germany, and Great Britain defeated Team Chinese Taipei. Prior to that, I think the last time they held this tournament was in 2014. So Predator has revived this World Team Championships, and this is the second year under the Predator umbrella. And it is a WPA sanctioned event. Yeah, really, after that break, there's not really much challenge in this, just trying to stay in line. Stay close to your work, but great chance. Might you looking as strong as ever. And Puerto Rico looking on, concerned. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, they don't really get much stable time. Also, you know, sometimes this will happen that the layouts are getting a little tricky and exactly on those moments you get the table time. Oh, she got oh, too short on the seven. She could have stood to come a little further, she but she can go down and come back up for this for the eight. She could possibly choose to run into the yeah, eight. Yeah, I like running it, into it. Pushing it towards the pocket. If you hit anything on the right side of the eight, you should still be ending up. She could draw away from it, but that's more difficult. Just like Played that. Played a good shot. Nice shot. Nicely controlled, good speed. The only worst result she could have had was accidentally making the eight. 
And still the nine's available, but not as easy as she wants. Yeah. Mighty looking very strong. Yeah, but she has a very strong offensive style of play. The only thing that, and maybe she has been putting time on this too, I, I wouldn't know, but her defensive play was lacking for a while in the Pro Blade series. So, but still, these are players that are playing nonstop, playing all the big tournaments, so eventually they're going to be getting better always. Nice Look strike again. Nice. The speed, the delivery, everything was just perfect. Yeah, perfect break and run. Maite Ropero putting Spain in the early lead. And one of the few break and runs I've seen. Breaking game number three. Billy Marcy and Abdiel Estevez. Again, the break. Uh, I believe that one was dry. No shot on, no offensive shot on the on the one ball. So Carmen Maldonado comes to the table with not a good look. She's going to have to push. Where do you push? Straight across over by the five ball. Very scrappy layout here. We both have been thinking for a while, thinking, okay, what, what are you playing here? It's a tough out. I don't, you, from this wide angle, it's really tough to thin the one and not run into the 6-3. I don't even think it's a, a, a possibility with the yes. new sliding claw. She's got to hit it real thin. I, th I think she can, she can thin the one and come out and maybe go back across again. If she catches the one too thick, it probably catches a piece of the seven and stays. Yeah, but I, I think Maite made a good call not to try and do oh. something. Yeah, just let her shoot that. That's tough. It's too tough to get a safety out of this. She has to hit it. She has no choice but to go that route. Maybe running into the bottom of the six and or double, double kissing. Kiss. Yeah, but. Yeah, she caught the double kiss a little bit on the thin side then. straight on the two maybe even having angled towards the four nine which is not ideal and everything evolves around that three ball just right next to the side pocket if this two ball goes she can just push up against rail almost with the cue ball long shot but it's there and as you can see coaching is loud Problem is that the cue ball won't go towards the rail. It'll go towards the four. 
so he had a yeah, comeback. I, th I, I think the plan was just draw back. You might end up with the three in the side, but if you get too short, you can always play a safety. If you try to go forward and you hit any balls, you get hooked behind the eight. You don't have any backup plan. Oh, built-in safety for a Carmen. Yeah, obviously was trying to get the six in between, but this is a really good chance for Puerto Rico here. Just soft stop shot. Well, she's close enough, so it will leak out. Just one. Yeah, won't be able to hit to be going over the top long rail. Also not the short rail. This is tough, tough kick here. Only thing I see is possible three rails. <coughs> Queuing over the six and now she, she's got the jump cue out. Might be the best option. But then again, because she had to elevate that much and jump really high to get over the eight because they were so close. That's why the cue ball lost so much speed. So even though she hit it from the way back, she n would never have enough speed. hand and like we mentioned before everything was about the three ball six seven eight nine is all on the same all side right really connected as long as she gets straight on the six here she looks a little bit straighter on the five but that stroke going up and down there with the backhand I'm not sure if it yeah she got too much angle she's gonna have to I don't think she can hold for the save. She's going to have to go around it. Yeah, or run into it. Oh, it's going to go. He needs a bump. Now this is interesting. If she froze up on the seven. It's a good shot. If not, she can just pull right through it. This would be. Where's your referee? Just really depends. If they're frozen, she can just strike right through it. But Angela's in position. Make the call on a push shot. And yeah, so. Yeah, just wondering. Must, must have been frozen or. Pretty straight here. Yeah, so from the outside, you know, for Spain, they are looking at this thinking, hey, this, you know, was it really frozen, you know, but. David's having a good laugh at something. Cue ball. And the Puerto Rican fans let you know they're in the house. At a one to three, and Carmen Maldonado to break the balls. A nice clean run, the last six balls there. And David now questioning, a little late, in my opinion. Yeah, the only thing is, you know, if there was really a doubt at that moment, they should have stepped up right exactly. away and say, That's why I said a little what's late going on opinion. here? No, you yeah. can't not do this can't after wait till the they run out. Yeah, it's, I, understand what, I understand why they're doubting it now. I, of course, I, I get the whole thing. Yeah. It's just that it's a little late. Yeah. David should have been, if he was going to question that, he should have been out of his chair as soon as it was, as soon as it was struck and we could have played it back. And did they say the ball was froze? Was it called frozen? Two key issues there. Well, she started out breaking. She broke dry, if I recall. Breaking from the same place. No, well, she made a good break in the first rack. She, she made a five she, and a quarter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought she'd broken dry. It was some good 
action going on as well, just like this break. It's just that this break is going to come up dry. No open shot on the one. Is she able to bring the one down next to the six and get the cue ball one rail out behind the, I believe it was the four. Yeah. Playing safe. Did she get a cover on the two ball? No, she not, not the, the, right the whole side of it. Not the whole ball, yeah. Yeah, it's a big deal too. Might on the hill already in this first set. If she wins her first set, then of course it's gonna settle down either David or Fran. And that's exactly the trick, you know. They shouldn't be carrying the most pressure. No, the pressure's all on the Puerto Rican team, I believe, at this point. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, Francisco Sanchez is, if he goes first, he's an 840 Fargo. The only one higher in the world is Joshua Filler at 844. So four points away from that. Uh, their strongest player is Alan Rolon at a 739 Fargo. And uh, he's 100 points below. Oh, doesn't want to make the three. Oh, she's got at least a difficult shot here on the one. Queuing over the three, jacking up. Try. I wouldn't even try to cut the one just by how elevated I'm, I am over the three. Yeah, I like the contact. She just hit it pretty firm and I think she might have gotten away with this. Nice shot there from Mighty. Just don't think she got shape on the one. No, she's got nothing. So probably cutting the one one reel towards the six and bringing the cue ball back all the way up table behind the two. She's going the other route behind the six. A little soft. She's left the one right in front of the side pocket. Eight ball and seven ball will probably create the problem for Carmen. Nice, solid, strong stroke there to get perfect position for this two ball. Come across for the four. Oh, the bump didn't hurt, but did she leave it too straight? But the five's over the pocket, so no then matter. Then still she would want to be more straight on the five. So if she draws back, the more straight she get on the five, the easier it will be to hold the cue ball for the six. She stops it right here. She will have to do more traveling, and yeah, that's where usually the mistakes come from—from from the traveling around with the cue ball. Anytime you're shooting balls to the side, if your position isn't isn't good, it's going to have to go around the table. Yeah, like and now. And here, that six is a danger. And watch this bounce up. She may have got away with. I it. think she just I got okay, just but this got is exactly what we're meaning. Like this is what we're trying to say, right? Yes. Is she going rail first, or is yeah, she just can maybe she make also it straight in? Oh, he, she went rail first. Also to get closer to the seven, I feel. She's got a decent angle on the seven to cross over for the eight, but might have to choose to go to the short side of the eight. Just feel that low left on this big cut could be... 
tough, tougher than floating it in and crossing over to the short side. A little bit too firm as well, or she, yeah, she overcut it, so the cue ball got too much speed as well. Now let's see how Mike De answers for this position on this eight. It's not a gimme. This position on this eight is tough. Yeah, she can bring it straight back and play play the long rail. A couple of nine. shots she can play. Oh, she can she did come right over his yeah. just to the left and just. But now oh, she, 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 spun the, she spun the cue ball more than she stunned it. Now she's forced. Well, she could play safety, but uh, bank shots. Bank. As, you, as you mentioned. The bank uh, is a little off angle, though. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. she's trying to, to, to rail. Yeah, play I like what David just suggested. Play the eight to the center of the, of the top rail and the cue ball two rails down by the ten. Using yeah, you would love to be behind the 10. Of course. Behind the 10 would be the extra lock. That of course, you may, I make it sound really easy, but that's what <laughs> players should be going for, at least. That's exactly what he just described. Caught oh. the 8 too thick. Did yeah, she get the, she nine the 9 in between? Yes, she got the 9 in between. Looks like it. It's close. Oh, I'm expecting to go airborne. Yeah. It's awfully nope. close. No jump cue? Or it is jump cue. I can't see if I it's shorter she's now. She's got to jump here. Or a reel first and cut it in, which <laughs> it's a straight jump or a reel first cut. Like yeah, Both are equally as tough, but even the jump is even tougher because she could follow it in with the jump. It looks like it's dead straight in. She's called for an extension. They are on a shot clock, 30 seconds, and then they have a 30-second extension, one per game. Hold the eight in the corner. Looks like she's going real first. Maybe she told Alan Roland, maybe he was saying, you know, I'm not feeling the jump. Oh, she's played this real soft. Yeah, but she's played it nice. very smart, yeah. Very nice shot. This is probably the best shot she could have played. Just to go aggressive and try to make the cut was not that realistic. This is actually, to me, it's a free shot. She can bank at the eight ball and bring the cue ball coming a little short and possibly get behind the 10. Probably have a shot on the nine, a long one, but a shot on the nine. And I like this better because with the bank, if you hit, if you get close to the corner and you hit the corner point, it's gonna stay up. It's not gonna go back up for the, for the safety, so. I like, even though she didn't get the hook, I, I like this, this keeps the pressure on her opponent as well. Yeah, she's caught it just a little bit too thick. So three balls to get the first point on the board for España. Now she made a shot like this on the seven ball. A little further away. And she makes it on the eight. Needs a game to close out the set. These two balls. And put the first point on the board for Team Spain. And point number one goes to Spain with a four to one score. Big smile on Francisco's and David's faces there. Looks like Mr. Sanchez will be playing next on the men's singles. $120,000 for the first prize in this $300,000 prize fund for the team championships. Alan Brolon for Spain. We'll hit a rack of balls to warm up. And I guess hit same thing for uh, Francisco. 
Yeah, probably they both have one wreck each and then they got to start. So we will have Ellen Roland Rosado in world number one, or former world number one, actually not sure. But he but used to be world number one for a year long, so Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. He'll be oh. feeling good enough to win another title here in Puerto Rico. Like last year, he was on fire. He won the title here for the World 8 Ball. The World 8 Ball, that's right. On your scoreboard, folks, on the right in the light gray is the is the set points for score. And on the left in the dark gray is your points for a three out of five. You need three points to win the match. First place is 120,000, but second place is half that at 60. And of course, third and fourth, which is two teams, will get 30,000 each. Fifth through eighth, which is uh, four teams, will get 12,000 each. And then the ninth through the 16th, will get a $1,500 uh, prize fund. For a total of $300,000 in the World Team Championships, There's uh, four groups, Group A, B, C, and D for the Stage 1 round robin. And Group A is the Philippines, Spain, Puerto Rico, and the USA all playing right now on the two stream tables. And Group B is Germany, Japan, Portugal, Indonesia. Group C is Chinese Taipei, Austria, Peru, Canada. Group D is Great Britain, Poland, New Zealand, and South Korea. That's your stage one round robin. For instance, in round two, Team Philippines will play Team Puerto Rico. Team USA will play Team Spain. Germany versus Portugal. And on down the road, Indonesia and Japan, Chinese Taipei, Peru, Canada and Austria, Great Britain and New Zealand and South Korea and Team Poland. Those matches will take place on Thursday afternoon in Puerto Rico at 4.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, Alan Roland Rosado, who has been gaining some experience playing on the world stage. Last year, I remember, he played also Shane Van Boning. I believe he also played the World Tembo Championships in Vegas. So it's not a player that is surprised by playing a world-class opponent. So he'll be looking to tie the score at one for his country. one rack apiece and they've done that now the looks like um, Spain will be breaking I mean excuse me Puerto Rico will be breaking
upper set, but meaning Francisco Sanchez Ruiz will have the first break in the second set. I see. So that 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 was the strategy advantage they chose by giving the first break away in the ladies match Making and then sure taking it Francisco in the match. Francisco gets the opening break in this ra race to four. Because even though you know he's a world class player and Allen, you know, might be under that level, it's a race to four. So you want to have that first break. Well, the world's number one for a year, like you said, just broke the balls and did not make a ball. Left an open shot on the one. Will he go for the run out or will he play the safe into the area where the cue ball is now behind those balls? Oh yeah, I like playing the safety here behind the two. Going I aggressive, you can cut the one and run into the eight. But I wouldn't be too surprised to get something real nasty on away. the two. It could slip away. Oh, he played it the other way around. And a window. No. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, but the jump cue is coming out. Could also kick over the... He can kick over the left side and bank the one back underneath the 2-9. I don't like the jump cue here. Two balls a little bit further, so to jump the right side of the one is, is really tough to not have the cue ball fly off the table. So I would be trying to hit the bottom side of the one in this case. Yeah, just caught it a little thicker, but I feel also if you look at the speed, he was trying to really play a containing shot. chose not to go for the one and yeah, hit that very firm now this one ball is very attractive to shoot make the one and draw back just to where you can play a solid safety on the two and then after the whole rack is going to be wide open could also draw back all the way and then play a safety that's, I think, what he's doing there. Just came back enough to play a safety right between the 6 8. Kind of just stunned it over. Well, nice there's, there's a different shot, too. He can thin the 2 be with the 9. I'm Effective. guessing he got it, but he didn't. He didn't take away the bottom long reel. Yeah, he so wanted it up against the 9. If you catch the left side of the 2, there's good things that can happen. There's four balls to get lucky behind. I believe Francisco and David are both uh, Predator-sponsored players. Might be the whole team. Isn't Mike? Nice shot from Alan Roland Rosado. Great hit. So tied up the six. Probably the best shot he could have played. It was a really good re-save from Allen. So the main thing is opening up the six. Still wondering, is he gonna float the three in and then Cut the four and go two reels into the six nine, hoping to get something on the five. Or is he gonna go? Is he gonna use the four to open the balls up? That's what I'm wondering here. He's laying perfect for it. Oh, he's looking at going the other way. So I like coming two rails at it. 
Yeah, I like going two rails and playing with a lot of speed. Just to not crawl behind the eight. Now he's going to come back. Played with inside, trying to come back, and he got too short. Now, if you can leave yourself a, at least a full hit on the six, you play the safety behind the nine. I think that would be his best yeah, chance from here. I think he had that in mind the whole time, especially with this position right here. Has to kill the cue ball to get that look. So either kill or play one reel out. And has he gone too far? No, it looks uh, like he's. It just looked right. like he was gonna be pretty good. Yeah. Oh, he's not happy. Is he close to be yeah, banking this? It, yes, it's 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 in line for the bank. So he's gonna call it just in case. Well, he could play with a little bit more left to op to widen the angle a bit. Or is he going very aggressive here? Going very aggressive, he went for the ball. Yeah, it was not a gimme at all. He didn't need to do it. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Now, you know, these guys both, both teams speaking Spanish. I think he went for the whole enchilada. Taco, taco, burrito. Taco. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but we are in Puerto Rico, so. Uh, so far, the food's been great. Always. So now, is there a way to avoid the 10, or is he still going to use the 10? He no, he oh. played the safe. He didn't go for it. He's left an open ball, but not an offensive shot, I don't think, unless he decides to uh, no early 10, so there's no, no point in going for the 10 ball. I like cutting the 6 behind that 7 ball and go cue ball back up table. Oh, bit. he might have found. Did he find the pocket? No. I don't know why he was so disappointed. <laughs> Said something to Fran, so maybe he thought he was going to drift that way. But then again, if there is a different rotation, like side spin on the cue ball, it drifts away automatically sometimes. It's not just always, most of the time people think it's a table. Sometimes it's also the spin on the cue ball that's causing it to drift left, right. Now the 10 is going to come back up. Does it block his shot? No, it doesn't. No, but Fran did get in an awkward spot on the 7. Very. Because the safety is not easy there. He's still, you know, he has the cut. If you don't make the cut, you sell out. You don't like coming underneath this uh, 7 and going two rails behind the 10. Is he going to thin the 7? He went the other way. This Good speed. Yeah, play, played a good speed, but you see, because the line, his angle was so wide, he had no chance to get the seven ball safe. So it was just pure cue ball in this case. Caught it a little bit more and has yeah. left the shot on the seven. It's long, but is guaranteed to have the eight in the side if he elevates the cue a bit and stuns it over to the right. You can just follow and stay level. Still a little bit in between, we'll have to stun, run. <laughs> the cue ball in between the rail and the pocket. I feel if he plays topspin, the cue ball will scratch in the side. I think he's going to play both balls to the same pocket. Oh, and he was able to Stun get run, the yeah. bottom of the, the nine. I thought he might take the other side of the nine and play it down with the Yeah, eight. I could have also done that. It's just that the nine is really close to the rail, and then to pass the side, side pocket, pocket you sometimes is a little scary. Oh, opened, ooh, it opened up, but not enough. And he got a shot out of this. Now for the 10. For game number one. So he takes the first game. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. First break, first game.
is the way it ended up. The break didn't matter. Yeah, so the reason why the other players now just left the arena is, you know, th this could take like an hour, you know, a race to four could take like 45 minutes, one hour. And obviously nobody likes to start a new set being extremely cold. So I think that everybody gets the opportunity to practice on an open table on the other side just to stay in stroke a bit. Yeah. That's exactly right. They uh, did open up, as you noticed after the first, the first set. They allowed both Francisco and Alan to take a practice uh, set, uh, rack, and now they move in the players that play next to a practice table if they choose to. Both players decided to go. So a dry break from. Francisco. And I would expect that Francisco and Mighty will play the Scotch doubles, which comes up right after this. Yeah, well, that is the one of the stronger points I feel in Team Spain is that I feel both Francisco and David would be able to play with Mighty. Because David's gonna steer her into the right defensive shots. And Fran would be supporting Maite offensively a sure. lot. So I think in both styles, I think it would work really well. I also think that with David coaching her the way he did earlier, it might be, uh, it might tell us that maybe he'll be playing with her. And, and maybe not Francisco. Yes, we'll, we'll find out when they get there, but it's their choice as to which player. Um, Very strong Spanish team and a strong Puerto Rican team. Nice shot by Allen. Yeah, good shot. Anand, Allen. Got the full cover and also there's no two rail kick. Most of the time they like to kick the ball, rather go two rails than one rail. That's one of the reasons why he's got the jump cue out. He might be able to jump bank the one. And then if you don't make it, you get separation. If you do make it, you have a long two, but you can continue the run. Oh, I think he touched the six. Got really close ma making the one, but of course we're playing WPA rules, so that means it's all ball fouls, shirt fouls, cue fouls, even dropping your chalk, all of it is an official foul. Came up a little short. Difficult to get to the four. The seven is a really tough position. He's going to follow up to the right side of the seven, I think. Or is he coming back? Yeah, straight back. Just. Yeah, just got okay, but the next thing was you're most likely having the angle to run towards the nine, cutting the four in. Yeah, really tough to get on the five. Is he able to draw straight in between the five eight? I don't think he can. I think a drawback will come right. Maybe at some the right five. spin. He can hit it thicker. No, I think he was playing to get a safety on the five. If he locks. Francisco up right behind the eight. 
Stays in control. Good feel. Nice shot. I like it. Nine is also in the way to kick two rails. Took away most of the kicking here. It looks like he may be able to go between the nine and the rail, the two rail kick at the five. No, he's going up between low the seven, nine. No, low oh, he's right. He's coming back, wow. Oh, he's closed on the way back. And he gets the rail, uh, but, doesn't but no get it, result. Doesn't get it by the eight. <laughs> Good, big try, but well, not this time. Wide open for Allen. Nicely done. Used the eight to take all the speed out of the cue ball. Now is able to draw back. Center of the table. That's what I'm going for on this. I wonder if he prefers to be called Alan or Alan. Go out there and ask him. Not now. <laughs> I would have asked him prior to the match. I didn't get a chance to. Oh, ran a little bit further here. Still all right. He could go in be into the top long rail in this view and come back out, but Borikua is what they call their pool fans. Yeah, it's got perfect on the ten. Gets the job done. Good safety on that five ball. Smart shot. <laughs> trying to at least get the fans to enjoy it as well you gotta pick it up and you also gotta pick it up he also knows what he's doing too because he's trying to get some more pressure on francisco see if he gets the whole building to root for him that's where you sometimes make your opponent get a little uncomfortable sure when you're the only guy in the room and everybody's rooting against you Except for the two people next to you, it's got to be a little tough. But one thing about Francisco is he shakes off the pressure with his rhythm. Yeah, true. I mean, there's a reason why he's won so many tournaments last year. Oh, he was just on the streak. An unstoppable streak. Breaking from the center, going for the eight and the nine to the side pockets. The two balls behind the one. Nine ball going, nope. He had a pretty square hit. I just feel he could try to put a little bit more into it. This was a pretty, just a solid pop, I feel. So the good news for Allen is that he hasn't left the one ball on because the table is wide open. He's pushed out to a rail first shot. A rail first shot that comes with position if he makes it. But with quite some speed. Will, which course. is going to make of the course. making the one a lot tougher. Like if you could drop it in all day long. Now I could understand if he said, well, I don't feel it. You know, it's, it's not a guaranteed. And it's not a guarantee that he'll sell out either. So I like going for this shot. Yeah, I mean, it still kind of worked out. But he could, he's going to expect being glued to that four, four ball after. That's what I expect him to do, roll up on the four. Okay. It's either that 
or bring the cue ball one reel all the way back down and bank the one with safety in mind. But don't like that one in this particular situation. No soft rolling is scary, but. Well, it's leaked out. You push the four a little too far. Yeah, sometimes you just you just take this kind of safety. He, he knew that the one was never going to be in front of the corner. That's what he played, so he's all right. But you would expect to be glued with the eight, for example, now two rails. Or maybe behind the seven is even better. He played it the other way around, and well, that five ball did help him out. Bumped it behind the ten. Well, based on his body language, yeah, there is an edge. If he catches it right behind the nine. Yeah, a good testament to how the table is rolling. That rolls straight as an arrow right towards that little corner of the of the pocket. Yeah, he's called the one. There is a shot here. But he's frozen with the rail. Don't think he's got the full ball, so he's elevating. He's elevating quite a bit for such a small masse. I think he was trying to go around that ten. Has he tied something up while going at it? Uh, the eight ball, a little bit, but the seven ball's on the other side of it, so that, that gives him the other pocket to play for the eight. I think Francisco goes all out here, and he just goes for the run. Yeah, got to go here. Oh, nice shot there. He got perfect on the three to roll down for the four. Five's in front of the pocket. We'll need some good cue ball control around the seven, eight. Because with the wrong angle on the eight, it could be very difficult to go to the nine. Yeah. I think it's all about the angle on the on from the six to the seven. Yeah. Good angle on the seven gives him what he wants for the eight. And going to the nine is... He got a little straighter on the four than he wanted to. He actually needs to be close to straight on the five unless he wants to go twice the long reel up and down. Yeah, that's why he want to go forward. I like to come back a little bit for the six and then draw back for the seven. Two draw shots. Yeah. Oh, even had the angle to go oh, yeah, forward, yeah. even better. Yeah. Way easier to much judge easier. the speed. Much easier to control. Now, ideally, dead straight on the seven. So you can just stop or maybe float just a hair more. I would rather, I think I'd rather use the head rail coming down for the nine than, than risk hitting the ten. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 definitely. So I'm guessing it's going to stop the cue ball. If he could replace the seven, it would be perfect. But, it, yeah, that's what the thing. If he stops it and he leaves himself too much angle on the eight, then it also is not nice. That's why I was talking about good oh, cue nice ball. Shot. Good cue ball control. He did just that. He just stunned it and it just kind of fell half a, half a roll forward and it ended up perfect. Now we can follow to the head rail and come down towards the nine, playing line shape. He's going to end oh. up too straight. And he's not going to like this. No, this is a little, he's going to have to take a harder 10 ball than he, than, we, than he would like. Or is he able to still draw his way out of this? Just straight draw, 
get off the rail or the same thing going forward really cheat the pocket draw. just a bit and then stun the cue ball out two rails looks like he's winding up for it oh wow that's a power draw oh, he put too much <laughs> on it he, look at him go well this is actually still better than what he had before so Yeah, and it is. nice shot, Francisco, with that power draw off the ninth to back cut the 10 into the pocket. Takes game number three for a two to one lead. Puts a smile on his face along with his teammates. Angela Williams from, I believe she told me she was from Pennsylvania. Michigan, but she's living in Pennsylvania. Or is it the other way around? Up to one. I think he moved just now to the other side, trying his luck on this side. on the six. Francisco so far has pocketed 17 balls, fouled twice. El Alan has pocketed 14 balls with no fouls and no missed shots. Yeah, it's mainly just been that moving game in the beginning of the wreck, like just now. The one that gets ball in hand earlier or a decent chance, it's the one that most likely have been running out here. Now with right spin. Making it short, but the cue ball finds the pocket. And they've all been dry breaks on top of that. So this has been a moving game. Well, good safety shot from Alan Rolon Rosado. Got himself ball in hand. And if he gets straight on the three, he will get the perfect angle on the four to go in between the five and the seven. Yeah, pretty nice layout, as long as you have your speed. If you feel the speed of the table, in this case, you, you have good odds. No balls in the center of the table, so no traffic. See, now could go Perfect. just one rail straight, or could go two rails, long rail, long rail, and be close to the five. There's he looks a little bit straight on the four, so I expected him to play one reel indeed. And then now, he doesn't even have to cross over. You don't have to be straight on the six, just center of the table is enough. Well, he crossed over. And he's in really nice shape. Well, a little he should have gone a little further. He yeah. could have gone a little further. Or a little less. He can maybe straight. cheat the pocket and go top right forward. Could draw the cue ball one reel out. I feel in general he's been coming up a little bit too short at times. Speed wise. He doesn't really overrun the ball. He under hits the ball a bit. Now trying to kill the cue ball with right spin but took a big risk there because he was cutting the ball really thin so he I was going to hit the reel fast he needed to go deeper into the corner to straighten it up tough eight ball now long one great recovery heart of the pocket big angle on the nine if he plays low right he could get s close to the side so it needs a smooth stroke you see that's why he Pushed the whole cue through queue, it, yeah. yeah. It did. But you see how close he gets to the side. It, it was really close. So this 10 to level the score. Alan Roland Rosado.
Ooh. Oh, he used the entire pocket there. Gave everyone a thrill. We've got four games down and we're tied at two. Yeah, like you mentioned, we've had some dry breaks so far in this set. Not at the women's match, but this set. Right. When the score is two each, yeah, one or the other will have a break, which is... Like, if, if you make a ball on the break, you can get going. So, there is a chance for Puerto Rico. Don't underestimate them. Very experienced player, I can see that in his style. Like, he he likes the moving game and he plays the little soft safety shot. Like, he plays good shots defensive-wise. <laughs> Just see Francisco laughs at what they're saying. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Whatever it is they're saying, I can assure you it's in Spanish, number one. And number two, they're having a good time. Makes the four. Yeah, has lost the cue ball going forward to Rills and did not end up with a shot. Keep in mind that the mixed doubles comes up next. I'm just wondering which male player will play with, with Maite. Another safety. Now going over the short rail with left spin. Try to catch the left side with quite some speed. Run the cue ball into the five and send the one behind traffic. Oh, the worst thing that could happen is you hit it too thin. Yeah, just, just missed it. So, even though making a ball on the break, it's Francisco Sanchez reads with the first chance this wreck. Yeah, so we just found in the rules that for the scotch doubles, it has to be the female and then playing together with the male that did has not participate yet. So yet. It can be Francisco, it'll be David. Yeah. Which I think is fair because you, they have to play with three players and not just two. You don't want to win a match 3-0 and only two players played, right? And, and and what led us to believe that it could be that way was the fact that when she's asked for coaching, it was David that came up, which would probably mean that he's the one that's going to play with her because he's probably worked with her um, in the Scotch doubles. Okay, so it looks like that two balls really get really tough to get on. So he's going to try and freeze the cue ball on the five and get the one next to the three. Set up a three fouls in a row. Perfect cue ball on the five and look at the one ball. Oh, this is really strong. You see, not only did he play a good cue ball taking away the kicks over the long rails, he also had perfect control on the one ball to possibly go three three fouls in a row so now Alan has to go twice the long reel and these are tough oh he's oh. just just no reel I wish we could get a slow-mo of that because I'm not sure that he uh, I think it was just okay just no reel okay. after So now with ball in hand, there's two fouls, but the th the he moved the three ball, so the easy three foul is not there anymore. He's going to try and run. He was looking at running into the two ball. Oh, no, he's playing the three fouls. 
or was was playing shape to at least get to the three fouls. He can draw to the rail and come up against the nine and play the two ball between the seven and the eight. Or he just draws the cue ball a little bit back and you shoot the two into the seven. It's a different option. Or freeze on the seven one rail. Just like this. I like this. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to be happy with this. So two fouls. No, I think he can go one or two rails. Probably one straight at it. Yeah, there it is. And a return to safety. Yeah. He didn't get the full hook, but it's just enough to hang in there, you know, and especially with this score. As long as you just hang in there, you can get a couple of visits in. Why would you not be able to still clean the set? Well, so far the tail of the tape has been Francisco with a four ball out after his opponent's safety. And then Allen had a six ball out after hit Francisco's safety. Francisco then ran ten balls off of uh, Alan's break. And then Alan won with ball in hand. Now kicking at the right side, sending the two of the six to the left short rail and bringing distance of Hoy. Oh, he went for the seven he ball. He was going for it all the way. Quite aggressive, but played it beautifully. Got perfect on the two. It was laying right. Yeah, nice shot. So center of the table. If he's able to run out these six balls, be the first time the player wins two games in a row. They've been battling out. Just laying very nice. The pressure is high. There's 100, 150 people watching. Such a big rack and yeah, just didn't put that soft draw he kind of punched the cue ball there and so now we'll have to play safe again what an opportunity he had to get on the hill first or is he going aggressive is he going to play the bank I feel he's wanting the duck no you went for the cut and is it going oh, oh. <laughs> speed he backed off the speed, thought he had enough. Actually, he hit it to the center of the pocket. Had he hit it just a little thicker and still inside the pocket. Uh, On the other side, like I mentioned before, he has been coming up too short in general with the speed, which is surprising because it's a brand new cloth. It runs pretty fast. It has been raining. Yeah, yeah, but just surprised it comes up so often, so. It's not going to be Ellen. Who's going to be on the hill first? It's going to be Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Well, I don't see Francisco balls. stumbling here. Yeah, that's that's the thing. They're so in the open, and he can go around it, and he can play top with a hair of left. Uh, just so many options he has. Well, that's not the easiest of shots. But also came up a little bit short, so I'm now thinking maybe the rails are starting to be a little slower, for example. Yeah, 3 2. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. One step closer to get that 2 0 lead in this. A break away. They have not made a ball on the break yet. one game away from winning the point number two. They just need three.
The Puerto Rican fans have been silenced for the most part with that failed attempt at making the, was it the six? Six ball, yes. Yes. Well, also, I'm sure the crowd can see that Allen really has opportunities here this set. Like, he really... And he's played well. Well, he's been playing well, but also he's been missing a couple opportunities where he could have finished this match. Yeah, Allen had a six ball run oh. in the second well, rack. He's going to like this. The fourth. Making two balls on the break, but also the cue ball. That's not good. No, that is not good. But Allen is going to like this. That's what I... You can see the concern now because this layout puts it on Neil Hill and Allen will be breaking. Yep. And just hey, like you don't want it to go just because of a scratch on Ray. He was a little unlucky though. He didn't scratch straight in. It was kissed in. Partly. Cuba was tracking towards the side and then some traffic. This is a little. Well, he's going to play the. He's going to play the combo. Or does it go by the eight? Or the carom? One or the other. He played the carom earlier on the seven ball. And there's. Got a little straighter on the three than he probably would have liked. I'm not sure. He's going to come. It might be there. just okay if he nudges the top short rail. He might be okay to cut the four on the side. On the side, one reel back out. So three each. We didn't have really much more to say here. Balls were laying so nice after you played a carom. And the fans come to life. And they were given something to come to life for. They're tied at three in this race to four. Point number two is in question. Yeah. Alandros Drolon to break the balls here in game number seven. And I remember most of the breaks were dry. But what a moment this would be to make a couple the balls on the break. The only one that wasn't dry was the last one where Fran made two. Well, he also, Ellen, Ellen broke once yeah. but then got hooked and made a ball. Let's go three each, just one rack. Is Alan Roland Rosado, is he able to get that first point on the board for Puerto Rico? Did really cut the one a lot and, oh, we got a very scrappy rack here. That's one thing. Is it worth going for this one ball? Let's take a different, different look at this. You could take the risk, go for you the one, and run into the four five. A lot of speed. Yeah, but then your position on the two ball is going to be very questionable. Very questionable. Yeah, but on the other side, where are you going to duck in this rack? Two rail, the one ball out of that corner pocket, and take your cue ball to the head rail and over behind the nine. Yeah, he's a little bit wide on this angle. It's wide, but that two ball, that one ball rails, two rails, inside the eight, above it, pretty close. It's I just feel also, what are you gaining from playing a shot like that? It's not like you're gonna set up a one ten combo or anything because they don't count. Well, there's traffic down there. You might gain ball in hand with a good safety.
Because now, how do you go after the four? Do you take? Do you shoot up there and bank the well, four? Well, I was next? thinking about making the one and playing safe, maybe on the two or the three. He could push the two next to the problem, and then bring the cube over to the seven. Exactly. The other option was maybe making the two and playing safety behind the six on the three. See, now Allen will have to open it up. Oh, well, at least he's going to nudge soft. the balls around a little bit. And the more they start doing it, the more it opens up as well. Two rail kick. Probably soft, not hard. Is he going to get? He did Got catch it nice. Right. And he's opened it up. He just did the work for him. Yep. Yeah, I was trying to catch the edge of the two a little bit more. 30 second shot clock. Winding down. He's just going to play a safety behind this nine ball. Yep, two behind the ten. Now mainly play the cue ball, of course. If you stick the cue ball right in between the rail and the nine, then most of the time it doesn't matter where you leave the object ball. It's hurting our brains too. <laughs> he's touching. Yeah, he's just gonna push the nine and the four together. I like that because it, kicking over the short rail. If you don't hit the two, it's always gonna be so difficult to judge. If you hit the two, you might still leave it in the open. And there was a four nine combo to solve the whole rack. Playing the two behind the four nine and the cue ball behind the three. A little firm with the cue ball, but I think the two just got there. Or did he leave a small edge? No, no edge. Yeah, we'll have to kick very precise here. Or is he? It looks like he's going. Oh, he's spinning over. Or is he over. going two rails? So I like going one rail and nick the two ball on the bottom side. Looks like he's going right at the two ball. I thought it, there was no gap, but oh, he did have a gap. Very risky, but has worked out in. Yeah, I was not going to say in a great fashion because there is Return going to be safety. a good safety yeah. after. Yeah. Is there a window? Uh, the I window would think so. I think would lead him kick. to go behind the ten. Also, kicking at it over the short rail is not too horrendous to play for him. Many balls that he's lining up like he has a window. Well, then I'm gonna try and get behind the ten. The window he did have, no ten ball. Now will Francisco play aggressive and go at this ball with a little bit of left low and try to get down for the three and run out? It's on the hill, or do you uh, play the play the fairly easy safety? I think he has to go here. I kind of like a high reward, and, I if, you, like and if you don't make it, you get behind the four, five, nine. Also, yeah, I like that. Nice shot. Yeah. Such a big shot. Now it's wide open. It wins you the set. Yep. Just 
just checking if the five goes to the right side pocket. The six goes to the bottom left or the bottom right. I think he has to go in between. In, yeah, in between the 8 6, that kind of line he would be looking to go. It's either that or stun around the 7, go into the rail and out. Well, I think he can He can play. Can, does the 5 go past the 9? Is the question. He's going around the 7. Just doesn't want to get straight on the 6. Yeah, he can slide. Uh, he's going to have to come back. This will slide past the 10. Well, the biggest thing is if the 7 goes, goes to the top the eight, left, yeah, exactly. then you play this. But yeah, it does no, not. it doesn't, no. It does not. Well, could be end of run here. Could have to play safe on the 7. Yeah, you can just pocket the 6 and play a safety on the 7. Bank the uh, 7 up to the head rail and stay behind the 8. Yeah, I d there was nothing else he could have done. Well, if he gets I it didn't he expect him to get so straight on the 6. So uh, pretty big error. Could make everything right by playing a good well, safety here, roll up on the eight. The, a good safety here wins you this game. And the set. And a good safety he's played. A very good safety. Yes, but he has left the kick over the kick. long rail, so. But look where the seven's going if he kicks it. Wide open. I'm just saying, the more you give the chance for your opponent to at least hit the seven, I could be more lucky. Tim, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, just let him come back to the table and good things can happen because players make things happen. Just wondering why is he going two reels over this? Because he can't spin it enough to go there. And oh, he, he hit, hit it. And the cue ball. And look at the cue ball. Oh, is the cue ball staying no, up? No, it's staying up. It's staying up. Oh, what a wow. safety. <laughs> it's got to come apart. <laughs> what kind of shot has he played here? Wow. Well, if you were wondering what he was doing, he just showed yeah, you. Yeah, he just showed me. Wow. <laughs> what a shot from and a steel face after no emotion he <laughs> just now if that wasn't a highlight reel shot i don't know what was i mean at this moment of the match as well it's a huge shot okay now fran has played a decent shot but the seven did leak out He's going all in here. Not oh. much of a choice. And is he going to get fortunate? Yes, he oh, is. Oh, he's got it too. And this is what you need also. You know, like sometimes you create something and sometimes you really need to get lucky. But you get rewarded for a good hit. So now... You know, going real first, if you if he makes a seven, no. Nope, he's he's going to try to stick the cue ball there yeah. off the seven. Hopefully go up and stick him behind the eight. Oh. Yeah, he wasn't trying to he do that. He should have called it. Well, he called the side or the corner. Yeah. And, there was and here I it was is. I was surprised he chose to call that pocket. And if he floats the eight and going top spin. Point oh number wow. two going to Puerto Rico. Yeah, just two balls away. Soft stun. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good to see. Really cares about his country. Alan Roland Rosado beats Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. 4 3 in the second set. So one each. Two great kick shots to turn that into wow. a win, a big W, a very big point for Puerto Rico. Yeah, so now we will now have... we will have the Scotch doubles. Yeah. 
And going right into it, it'll be Maite Ropero and David Alcaide. Yeah, and then we have Alejandro Mercado and Carmen Morales Maldonado. Very good. Yeah. Practicing your <laughs> Spanish, I see. Well, I have to speak Spanish here. Most of the people don't speak <laughs> English. That's so correct. I have to try. A very relaxing a vibe here, and, th and that's everybody's enjoying themselves so, so good here. It's uh, well, the music in the background. As soon as you walk in the building, puts you at ease. Number one. Number two, uh, the greeting or the hug or the congratulations for that match between, between uh, Alan Rodon and, and Francisco Sanchez. You see that hug? It wasn't just a handshake. And there was a smile on both players. Yeah, the atmosphere that's provided here is just so different. Obviously, it also helps out that they both speak the same language Precisely. and everything. And but still, Precisely. I mean, it, I'd rather see it this way than grumpy faces and being extremely rude to each other. Exactly. So. Like uh, turn away when you shake hands and things like that. And this is the first we've seen of uh, Alejandro Mercado. We don't know anything about this young man. Except that he's breaking straight away. Playing the eight ball in the side, and it goes. The two ball in the corner, no dice. Open shot on the one. Probably a safety behind the five. But it will be Carmen to shoot it. Because this is Scotch doubles. You like yeah, pre pretty decent break. It's yeah. just that you there's no ball. bank on the one. No. If the nine was over a little bit more, I would have loved to bank the one. Now the cue ball could be behind the five, low left. I, I like that. Oh, she went behind the seven. Also, I'm, I don't mind this as long as you play the one ball first. Make sure the one gets to the short rail and then the cue ball is bonus. Yeah, and now we side see... Bucket. David Alcaide and Alejandro Me uh, Mercado for the first time. We watched Carmen play Maite. Oh, nice hit. Just no rub of the five, but pretty decent hit. Has left the combo on the well. five. Would you think about comboing the one five and opening up the seven two? Because I, I looked like the seven was getting a little bit closer to the two ball. You play a low left. No, he's, play, he's playing the he's playing the carom. Oh, he was wow. playing the carom to play the one ball over to the to the other corner, and now he's opened it up for the uh, for Spain. But then again, depending on how close is that seven two, is he probably David is going to say run in between those two balls, stop left. That's what I'm guessing. He says. We should wire them next time. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, he never ex he never expected to get behind there. Well, I have a feeling this cue ball is going to track down towards the three ball. Well, if she had put a little bit more speed on that, I feel the chances were pretty good. She's just a little softer, she hit it. Now, yeah, there is not really an obvious shot. You can mess say and just try to put the cue ball behind the three, but the two is going to be in the open. Guaranteed. Just don't hit the four. That's what he's looking yeah. at right there. Two rails, yeah. It's called a nine in the side, just in case he doesn't bring the cue ball over enough. It it kind of worked, you know. Like it, he didn't leave an open shot on the two. The seven ball is blocking it and. Yeah, well, you survived another round. Sometimes when you are in this kind of situation, you just tell yourself, whatever I do, just don't sell out. But she can play, I was going to say, a safety behind the nine, just a little firm. Just, just a little firm. A little too firm. Just okay. Again, survived another round. Do you cut it thin? On the left side? No, I'm probably going to catch it half ball, trying to freeze the cue ball on the three, send the two ball back up. 
Here's what I was talking about right here. He's getting behind the three right there. Don't That's think a touchy shot. A little harder, she would have been successful. Well, especially playing it with that speed and then thinning the ball. That's what I'm not a big fan of. I like going real first here. Send the two into the ten and bring the cue ball back up table. Yeah, I think she made Just a like good that. shot. This is a good shot. I like it. Left an edge, and that's all that David needs here is an edge. But the three ball is going to come into play. Oh, he found a gap around the three. Francisco is just walking behind us here, and we're going to tell him if he keeps walking back, I'm going to ask him some questions about that last match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Just wondering if David was trying to run into the three or he was really trying to find the gap. She's played a double kiss before. Here there is a double kiss as well, leaving the two on the rail. A little bit Trying to get behind thicker, the 10, no. And so now this opens it up for Spain. Shot to the side. Shot to the side pocket, position on the fours there. Everything is open from there on in. Got to pocket this ball, she did not. And those are little touchy shots. Especially you don't really get to hit the ball, strike the ball. So it gets really sensitive. She leaned into it at the same time though. If you were to see that in slow motion. Yeah, you have to be dead still yeah, as well. She, so she th there's quite some difficulties in those kind of shots. And Took a risk. is not gonna like this. Big risk. No reward. He risked it for a biscuit, but no biscuit. You didn't really <laughs> say that on there, did you really? <laughs> oh my. You know, he just he just played it a hair too soft. If you look at where the two ball ends up, just a little bit firmer and he's right in front of the side. Good hit, but that's not going to be great for Puerto Rico. Well, opportunity number two for España. Yeah, make sure you get a decent angle from the two to the three. And then get on the four, that should be it for this game. Two rails guaranteeing somewhat of an angle going two rails. If you go one rail, you can get straighter sometimes and that's not what you want in this case. Still looks a little bit straight. But then again, center of the table is already enough. You don't have to be all the way straight. David will come back and forth for the sixth ball. Really just softly shoot the four and stay there for the six. Yeah, back and forth. Yeah, and then now center of the table so you can go oh, one or three rails on the seven. I usually like to play forward, so I would go three rails with the seven to the nine. I like Some that people too. like to go long reel, long reel. It's, it, yes. This is really preference. Especially these kind of angles, I love to play inside. I like the inside here. It's just the more natural flow of the ball than, than to bring it back with, with the draw or the left English. He's going with the left English, I think. Just like this. Now, if he gets on the wrong side and he... Oh, that's he straight in. Very straight, but might be able to still force yeah. over an angle. She might be able to cheat, cheat the, the pocket. pocket. Yeah, yeah just okay. 
And for point number one, for game number one in the third set. And Team Spain takes the first game off of Puerto Rico's break in this race to four. So why not take this moment to thank our sponsors and partners? We have sponsors and partners. Of course we have sponsors Medialite, and partners. Medialite, Kamui, Predator Rums Group. Of Puerto Rico, Predator Group. Popular. Puerto Rico Tourism. Tourism. And District, District Puerto, Rico. Puerto Rico. I knew we forgot one. You know, in that last match, we had Francisco pocketing 50. He shot 50 times. Took up 51%. 50%. Took up 51% of the time at the table. Alan shot 63 shots with 49% at the table and ended up winning the match. So Those two beautiful kick shots. Yeah, wow. And now. So Alejandro was trying to play safe on the one, accidentally made it, leaving David a really good chance here to get Puerto Rico in trouble. Oh, and the cue ball is not good cue ball. Yeah, he felt really confident when he left the table and then he started to doubt it for a second. He had to check back and look. No, oh, it's good shots. Those shots, you gain a lot of control with this. Two rail kick. It could kick safe here. If she hits it sudden, the two ball just right, it could leak by the seven and the eight, and the cue ball holes. Got to hit a rail, though. Yeah, no, I, I like going two rails and hit the right side, shoot the two into the six, okay, and then bring the cue ball back up table. She went straight at it with one rail, and they're going to find themselves safe again. With two fouls. Yeah, the only thing I would be looking at, maybe bringing the two up with the three, or they're going oh. aggressive. Yeah, you see, David is saying, they're put going the for it. no, 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 put the two with the three, and then lock the cue ball with the six. Not just play the stop shot behind the six, because what are you going to do next? What is it? It looked like he was. Well, all once this. that two clears out, the three to the four is the key to the whole game. Yeah, but and David's going to get that position, so she might be going for it all the way. I like okay. this. I like this because once this he brings that cue ball back, they get on the four, the game is open. Yes, but then still there is some because the six, seven, eight, nine are all really close to each other, so it's not a gimme to run out. But I, I mean, I do like it. She just has to go around that 10, get the cue ball on the bottom rail. I think she's trying to get two rails. Long rail, short rail, or is she going to go top spin? I would go top spin inside, but. She, she missed the ball. Tried to force the cue ball two rails. And it's going to come up okay. Going for the jump cue, it looks like. Yeah, I like going jump bank. Just because if you accidentally hit the 10 or hit the 8 on the way back, you might get it safe. Well, he is elevating a lot there. Oh, even he got a pretty decent double kiss. And Did he find cover? No, he didn't. He didn't, but this is not like a hanger. 
especially if you go for it most of the time the four will stay near the pocket because you will hit just the point of the corners you probably hit it fat if you miss it usually he overcut it yeah he played with a lot of left spin to throw the four ball out more so yeah playing with this much spin he's most likely to miss it on the overcut side Same thing the other way around. Oh. Caught it a little bit too thin. Or not enough spin either way. So another chance for Spain. Now it's just a matter of pocketing the four ball. She has. David will get on the left side of the six here for the six in the same pocket. Also a different thing, playing just a singles match or doubles is so different. Most and of the Scotch. people don't, they don't really understand the dynamics going on and the rhythm that plays. So there is a lot of players out there that cannot play with certain other styles. Now look how nice this lays. She pockets the six and uses the side of the eight to put position on the seven. Yeah, you just got to weapon just yourself too. Yeah. If you catch the eight a little bit fuller, you might not get very high on the seven. So taking that yeah. into account, you might have to play just a hair more speed just to make sure you're always good. See, she played with double speed more. Just small details because now if you came up too short with the seven, the shot really gets annoying and yeah, straight little, on the eight. Little distance, but a stop shot will do. I don't think she can stop it. There's a little bit of an angle to it. But no, she did. Yes. Nicely, too. And this for game number two in this race to four. <laughs> and two it is. Keep in mind, next up will be singles. And it will be the team picks which player will play. Might we see another Francisco Sanchez and Alain Rolon? Can they do I that again? I'm not sure with the rules. I, thi I think they can. Because it would cut out a lot of variation. Um, also... I think it would be a very obvious choice for most of the teams. Or in this case, I would expect Alan and Francisco back. But maybe Francisco says, you know, I don't feel great. David, if you feel good, you play. You know, there's always different things going on than just the Fargo of a player. Okay, cut the break a little bit more. That eight is looking close. Goes in and... No shot on the one. Back to safety land here. Just go ahead and cut it towards the pocket and bring the cue ball straight down between the 5-9 if you can. Not trying to make it, just hit it as thin as you can and come straight down. Yeah, or cover. you play, or you go two rails. You play with a lot of outside spin and you go oh, short rail, way. long rail, and try to get behind the 9-10. Like this. She I caught the point. I think it was going to be all right if she didn't catch the point. The reason I didn't like that was just evident in the way the nine ball came two rails to the middle of the table. Yeah, yeah she, she yeah. caught it a little bit thicker. Now this lays in a position. You can try to pocket this ball and run into the four or just get around it and go by it and go all the way around it. Wow, it's 
little trouble here. I'd have stayed in the window between the 7 4. I was also thinking about drawing maybe into the 3. Okay. Like a very big stroke, but you know, the 3 7 is not really a hanger, too, so it could develop something and I'll also get on the 2. Now there is a small edge. Nicely played, good shot. Very nicely, good control. Was the only thing she could have done. Don't really feel like there was more on the table. Yeah, David just closing the game. Feels kicking at this too didn't really make much sense. So he's tying up everything. Smart and shot. And so far this set, Spain has had 59% at the table. Which accounts for the score being at 2-0. But now with this ball in hand. Yeah, probably just playing the three ball thin. Just sending it just next to the four and bring the cue ball up to the top short rail. We'll need some patience in this rack. Slowly it's turning out to be just running game, but yeah, nice shot. How much of that three ball can Ms. Ropero C. The second good safety shot from the Puerto Rican lady in a row. Very soft. She's going to get a red. Got a rail. Easy combo on order. And now on this over. might be the, the moment to go. Unless you're left handed and you. No, he's right handed. He can reach. He can reach. If not, we have extensions for that. Yeah, but it's also really close to the twist. You have to play a little PK shot, a little Massé. Yeah, if you, if you don't like it, don't shoot it. Okay, good shot. Straight draw back. I think I, like going, I think I like going, going forward, forward, two rails, two yeah. rails because the there's so much open space on the right. Yeah, if you're pretty straight. Yeah, she was pretty straight for going forward. They might have caught the point up on top and. I yeah, the, the tricky part with playing the draw was the six did come into play and. Well, they, they at least have a shot. Oh, sure. So. He really just has to follow this. You know, draw might have to just run yeah. into the ball side up. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, okay, That's so he was elevated, but he didn't play with that draw stroke. Kind of just decelerated a little bit there. He pretty, much, he pretty much took what the table gave him there yeah. for the shot. Yeah, I like it. And she'll come up and down for the seven in the same in the same side there. I mean, in the corner, but on the same side of the table. Oh, she, she caught it thick. She hit it thick and didn't get the cue ball down. Now, would you go for this? Possibly. Po um, to be honest, I, I, I think I it's think pretty it goes. close. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you, yeah, you want to go thing here. Is He's going to play safe. You see, for most American players, this would be a hanger because they know how to execute it with like making it short and with the spin. Most of the players, they don't play so many games of bank pool in a year for example or one pocket so they that's a good shot i mean i you know if you're not familiar with the bank then just stay patient that was actually i thought that was a very good shot on uh, alejandro's part there yeah he's, he's given up uh the, the edge and he's going to go for the edge and try to get the cue ball leave distance well, also, he's gonna, he knows if he hits the 7 thick and he sends it to the same long reel as the 9, he's never going to sell out. 
You see, everything on the long rail was going to be okay. But of course he was going to be trying to get the seven more to the rail. I mean, of, of course he was trying to get the cue ball all the way up to the short rail and he was trying to get the seven more to the rail. But still, this is missable and you're not guaranteed to have the seven after. But you're also not guaranteed to leave a shot. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Yeah, it worked out. Could be way worse. With a 2-0 lead, they just want distance here. You want to rail that to the where you just pointed, middle of the head rail. Or is she kicking at it? Well, oh, she cut she it goes down for the, the cut. rail. <laughs> oh, wow. She did not call that? Oh, she was not trying to shoot that. Okay, I was... Oh, wow, I was going to say that might be the shot of the day if she called it. <laughs> I got oh, my wow. highlight pencil out. <laughs> oh. What a shot. I cannot believe that just happened. Well, Puerto Rico can, and they are at the table with these two balls to get their first game in this set. Oh, look what just happened. He asked oh. for extension, and he didn't have one. And he just had to go real fast. <laughs> and this is really not easy at and all. Now, what do you do here? Oh, she's going for the cut. I might consider just playing safe. The opposite sides, so the 10 to the left, long reel, and the cue ball to the other. It's either you go all in or you wait. Yes. Oh, but it just worked because out. of the shot clock. Oh, the it shot clock out. got in. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> the shot clock can make you or break you. Sometimes it can force you to shoot, and it works in your favor, and sometimes um, you're scared of it, and it works against you. Well, also, like I mentioned before, Alan does have some experience playing the big guys, playing the bigger tournaments, played world championships before, but his team might not be so experienced, so they might not have so much experience playing the shot clock or in this kind of arena. Oh, he's called a four rails. This is close. This is this very is more close. Than close. Oh, wow. He hits it straight in the hole. David, okay, come on, man. Leave something for the rest of us. He, let, he played the four railer and wow. makes it. Wow. <laughs> what a shot. Where, where's the highlight? Oh. <laughs> you are kidding me. <laughs> Well, obviously, you know, playing the four rails, he, there is a safety of it also built into it. If he misses it on the long rail, he goes to the short rail. He it never threatened even. Like, it went straight in, straight in the corner. That's the second 10 ball that David Alcaide puts into the into the highlight reels. That's four railer and then that one, one, back, uh, one railer on the long rail shot. He made it one of the oh, big world tournaments. World, yeah, world yeah, the Masters, World Pool Masters. Yeah. Straight back. That's the second one for David. Wow. <laughs> Went in doubt, <laughs> blast out. It. Nice <laughs> shot. What a shot. Yeah, well, on big two, you know, the hopes for Puerto Rico were there. You know, they missed the 10. They felt like they had another chance, you know, to get the first game on the board, maybe crawl back a bit. Now it's Spain on the hill in this third set. I tell you, that was a gutsy, gutsy call. But with a 2-0 lead, it was uh, just, it worked out perfect for Spain. Yeah, another open opportunity. Nice big stroke here from David. He's starting to get really comfortable. Yeah. 
Both teams have missed two shots. Both teams have fouled once. But Spain has pocketed 19 balls to nine for Puerto Rico. Nice shot. Three in the same corner. Planning to play the 4-10 combo, which is not going to give them the win. But the 10 will spot back up, and the 4 is going to stay right in front of the corner pocket there. And even if she plays it to follow in, she could just run the cue ball a hair for the 5, just in case. Yeah, even if she stops the cue ball, that most of the results here are good. That's not... Yeah, but she really babied the shot. Yeah, most of the crowd are clapping, but we are now playing a WPA World Team Championship. Is he going to kick this ball in? I like this play. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I like this play if he kicks this in. But it's going to leave a long shot on the five, but a shot nonetheless. It has to go two reels. If you catch it two reels, you get a little closer. See, one reel was going to be... Not great for the five, so opening here for yeah, Puerto Rico. Yeah, catch the bottom rail there. Come up just off the off the bottom. Just a bit, only if it's two balls, you know, that's already fine. On the other note, I was just looking at the scores. The Team Philippines is down. Well, I did, I did see that the, the Team USA was 3-0, but I didn't know which set it was, and, and so I didn't want to call it out. I looked at that. My iPad's about dead. I've got like 9% left, so... Oh, I seen somewhere. Yeah, I seen it here. USA is leading 2-1 in sets. They're now playing their fourth. Philippines leading 2-1. Carlo Biado and Shane Van Boning. So we could be having our first shootout in the first round. For Puerto Rico, this is going to be a long while to go. I wouldn't be thinking about any shootouts yet. Just... Make something happen here. This might work out. If it hits the eight, she's going to be good. I like the sportsmanship from both teams here in this team event. Uh, the smiles, you know, they're just... Uh, the easy going, the way this whole match has been going. Appreciating good play, appreciating letting each other know that, hey, I didn't get a good role, I didn't get a bad role. And sorry for me, but you know, I'm more sorry for you. <laughs> so jump cue is out. Top right corner. Cool. And the cue ball stays on the table, but does it? No, it doesn't get to the pocket. It would have. I think he, yeah, they found it. <laughs> David pointing like, you can get it back. <laughs> yeah, both sides a little bit lucky here and there. But that's, that's the nature of the game. There's no way in this teams, especially with so many sets, there's no way one team is going to get way more lucky than the other side. It's just impossible. So jump cue out. Alejandro. Was he just in time? Because that was awful oh, close. Oh, well, she's, look, she's walking over to get the cue ball. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to make sure we, we have to rerun this because... It was really close, and David is like, you know, I can shoot from here, but officially, of course, you know, if you are not striking within the clock, then you're not striking within the clock. That's how it goes. So they're just going to try and get a quick rerun on this. Yeah, David actually stopped the referee from, from handing the cue ball away. Yeah, I think he was more saying, hey, let, let's check it first before you just call this, you know, like, he doesn't want to win this way as well, you know, like it's how it goes. 
And that's precisely the little point I just made a little bit ago about the sportsmanship in this in this team match. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, they 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 did the check and apparently it was just outside of the time and it's just four ball left. Now who shall last? <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I bl uh, might have jumped. So and that's right, I jumped off the top there. Yeah, just Almost four balls remaining table. to take the lead once again. Oh, a nice shot. Look how great she got on this nine ball. Two stop shots. And for point number two, this ten ball. And there it is. <laughs> Team España. In a whitewash on the last set. Takes point number two. One to go. Okay, so now we will have the teams pick. They will pick, see which player will shoot. Yeah, of course, both teams are wanting to leave the arena for a bit. Discuss who they're really going to pick. It's an important pick, you know. Well, like let me see if there's a rule for that. Uh, last year, I believe there was a rule where um, one of the players could not. Let's just go ahead and try to make sure here. Go to the rules and regulations. Oops.
And we are back. The teams are getting back. And we'll see what their selection was as far as who's going to play. Yeah, of course, everybody this needed a little break. Set. Now they, everybody like to get to the restroom, maybe get a drink. Well, it looks like Puerto Rico has decided. Yeah, I'm not surprised if Allen plays again, for sure. You know, it's, he by far played the best from his team so far. That's why I'm expecting to see David actually play instead of Fran. And yeah, it's just confirmed it's going to be David. I think it's also fair. I think David played pretty good so far. Fran made a couple mistakes, so why not let David keep his good vibe and keep going? So fourth set. They chose to give, after winning the lag, uh, the, yeah, the lag, they chose to have Puerto Rico go first. So on two and four, that means Spain gets the first break, makes a ball on the break in the side and nine. And I think that three ball just spoiled the party. He might have just enough to cut the one into the seven, which is quite aggressive with also how the two ball tied up. Well, we've seen some great play here. We saw two great kick shots. And we might have another great shot coming up here if he's going to jump and carry him to seven. It's tricky. Not so much room to land the cue ball. It's going to be hopping. Oh, wow. Just needs a. Oh, he didn't get on the one after, but it was already tricky to get in between the ball and the cloth. You know, he had just had a very small window to land. In the meantime, Philippines, Carlo Beato is leading Shane Van Boning 3-2 on the other table. That's to level the score to each and get to a shootout. So close matches in this first round here in the World Team Championship. Nice shot, good speed. Helen moves on with his good, good play. Little kick shot here. Well, that's the thing. I feel he's a pretty strong match player. Like he might not run the balls as good as maybe the the top top pros, but he's been playing some good kicking, some good safeties, trying to stay in well, control of the set. The kicking won in the set. Yeah, in Two the end. Two shots yeah. in a row at the end there. Yeah, so he's been battling most of the part and. He's, you see, he's getting chances like this. Yep. Even if the two doesn't go in the bottom left corner in this view, then he can draw into it. So he has two chances. If he, if it goes, then of course he's not going to open them up. But if it doesn't go, he can open them up. He's got a great angle here. It looks like it goes, yeah. Yeah, best way for Allen is to get that pressure on David early in the match. Early lead, one or two Rex lead. Gives you a little insurance as well. Ooh, oh, short. he's just right. He's going to be okay. He'll be able oh, he to he could always go three rails it. around if he, he can. He can just kind of draw it to the head rail and stay yeah. between that window that he needs. Oh, played it with inside. Longer shot on the five, but 
He kills the cue ball, has a six in the side, and stuns over 48 in the same corner as this five ball. Now could play stun left, long rail, short rail, and come back down, or play top left, coming off the short rail. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a big miss right there, because now he uh, gives David three ball run. And, and that's the thing, as an underdog in this match, you don't want to gift your opponent a couple balls to warm up and then maybe run with the match. Exactly. Oh, was did that catch a little bit of the point there? It didn't come no, out the I way don't I think thought. It, I don't think he did, but he got very deep yeah. into the short reel. So then still, he's got nice pocket speed on the eight and always going to be nice on the ten. And game number one. Going to Mr. Alcaide. And that it does, 1-0. Great match we've had here. We've had some great kicks by Team Puerto Rico. We had a fantastic four-rail 10-ball by Team Spain. Mr. Alcaide's specialty. And then uh, we saw some great sportsmanship on that time file. Yeah, ma many things happened in the last couple matches. And, yeah, that's always going to happen. There's always going to be things going back and forth. So it is now confirmed the Philippines and USA in the first match of the round robin stage will be a, a shootout. Oh, wow. That will be exciting to watch, folks. As much as we hate to lose you, we'd understand, but uh, <laughs> you're seeing some great stuff here, too. Good chance here for Allen. Pretty comfortable layout. Again, if he can have the cue ball in the open, he usually is good. Just a very precise stuff. Would have liked to be more in the center of the table. Get some angle. Of course, you can always draw back and always solve the things, but now he's got a wrong angle on the eight going to the nine. Yeah, he can so that is, it's little things, you know, like he could make himself but as you said, feel he, a little better. He moves his cue ball pretty well when he really has to. And oh, I didn't see him playing it that way. I like going the two rails towards the nine. Yeah, but with the sliding cloth, I feel after the second reel, it opens up a little bit more, and then you get a very big cut. So I, I don't mind him shooting this, but uh, it started with getting so straight earlier. If he gets to the center of the table, it's stop, stop, stun, stun. It's just small little details. Also imagine how much pressure is on him. You know, home crowd. He could tie this match to two each. Nice safety there. That's a very nice safety. The ball banks, but it's a tough one. He's going for the cut. He's called it in the corner pocket. He's going to try to spin this head. Well, he needs more English than that. You know, I've seen a guy play this four rails. It's <laughs> 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 so tough. So tough. Is it Cuba going to be ending next to the 10? You know. Oh, actually, that's a nice safety. Ooh. Over ball. Let's see of if a he test of his queuing power or queuing uh, abilities. Yeah, yeah, he, he's going for it. You can either go for it or try to thin the ball and cut it to the short rail, but 
then again, if you're already bridging high, why not just go for thick contact? Yeah, he's missed it. That's what I'm saying, especially now, you know, if Allen can get something going, he can really put some pressure on him. Float the nine in. And to tie things up at one, this 10 ball. Go Puerto Rico. At least the crowd is loving it. Yeah, There's a pretty small population here, of course, but still many. No, I'm saying more as in pool crowd. Like pool players usually don't really come from Puerto Rico. Well, we but have there is a lot of spectators around here in general during the day. Oh, all day long, this place has been full, back and forth, about 650 to 700 players. Uh, and they estimated the crowd to be 30% 30, 30 Puerto Rican. Yeah. So that means we had a lot, lot of international players here on the teams for the state championships or the Caribbean championships. Well, next to being at a great holiday destination, Two ball, four rails. No shot on the one, but at least he can continue. Continue the run. Now again, like David played before, he can cut the one up to the long rail next to the five eight and bring the cue ball back down behind the three. Oh, not that thick. Well, the five's a problem, but. He might be playing it right now. I was gonna say the cue ball could take care of that problem right now if he chooses. It'd be a longer shot on the, on the three. Or he tries to stun into the short rail and then Hit the run rail. into the five. Yeah, I, I like that, but I, I like coming between the five and the rail on the way down. It d it's all depending also on the speed you play. I think all, all of the shots are possible. It's just depending on like one shot you're gonna play a lot more firm than the other. Oh, he's a little bit unfortunate to catch both of the balls on the short rail. Well, either way, it's a long straight in, pretty close to straight in shot. And if he pockets this, he's got nice shape on the four. A seven got close to the side pocket point. Still think it does go, but it's usually a spot where most of the players get really uncomfortable. That's why I mention it. It was a confident strike there on the three ball. David has his skills on display. So it sounds like Team USA has beaten Team Philippines in the first round. What a result, first round match, or at least the first match in the round robin stages. It's a good start for Team USA. Nice and shot on the seven. And a rocky David. start for Team Philippines since they're the defending champions. Yeah. And to lose it in a shootout. I remember last year, uh, Team Philippines was in a shootout with Germany, I believe, and they won that in the semifinal. Meanwhile, David making quick work of the last few balls, and uh, here he is staring at this 10 ball for a two to one lead.
Keep in mind that first place here is $120,000. Second place is 60, 30 for third, fourth, and fifth through eighth is 12,000. Our sponsors, Discover Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico Tourism Company, Rums of Puerto Rico, Medalla Light, Camuy, and Predator Group. A wide open table for Alandro Rolón. Is it Rosato or Rosado? Rosado. Rosato. No, Rosado. Rosado? No. Yeah, they didn't have that listed. And I remember he had a three. He used as that is a third name. Okay, so just from the seven to the eight. I feel that needs a little bit more work. Maybe five to the six. There is some difficulties how big would this be for Alan to defeat David and get two points for his team against all odds yeah I mean against all odds it's not something everybody would expect but it would be great to see if they can go to a shootout that would be so big But one of the things for sure is even though the Team Philippines has lost their opening round, there's a lot more pool to play. You have four groups. Yeah, even though they lost the first round, there's still so many opportunities left. Oh, on the rail could be annoying. Might have to play with left spin to go to the other side of the nine or jacking up and stunning it to where he is now. Nice shot. So I think I like to go two reels forward just because he has a small angle. He just, it, you go 50 yard line. Hit that a little firm. No, he's all right. I was going to say if he gets really close to the rail, could be annoying, but. Oh, I think you should readdress his feet here. He just kind of stepped back. No, oh, but he's also this kind of player, you know? Like, he, he gets very fluent if he gets going. You know, like, he, he needs the confidence and gets, needs to get the feel. It's like a Filipino player. They don't always fundamentally do the right thing, stepping into the shots mm -hmm. and stuff. They don't, but whatever they do is working. As long as they deliver the cue properly. Yeah. So two each. A little bit more pressure on David now. Alan to break. Tied at two. Well, made a three. Does have somewhat of a shot on the one. And the good thing is he can run the cue ball around for the two in the bottom side pocket in this view. Of course, he could also, if he doesn't feel like swinging at it, he, there's so many ways he can duck.
Does the two ball go to the bottom left? If it does go, I think the one ball does go. So he can kill the one ball and still be good. Biggest problem is the five. The five is more of a problem than the two. Going rail first here on the inside of the nine. Nicely controlled. Of course, he's still left another good opportunity for David to lock him up, but playing decent shots to hang into in this game, that's the main thing. Just hang in there. Well played by David. Oh, nice hit. Really strong shot from... Alan Roland Rosado. That, that has really stood out for him. You know, he, he did apologize, but I don't feel he should be apologizing because he caught a good side of the one ball. He played at good speed. He really made something happen like he did before. I didn't feel like he had to apologize on this. And Still a good chance here for David if he catches it thin. Yeah. Another good shot. Nice shot, David. You see, it looks very easy, but they're kicking with extreme precision on all this. Choosing what side of the ball. They already have an idea of what kind of speed would give them decent results. Can you get that bottom rail in there to go two rails and hit that one ball straight if up? Even if he goes one rail and catches the thinner he side of the one he could still make something back happen back. so it's really the, of course if he can go two rails i like to go two rails because you can judge the angle coming out of the second rail easier because the one is closer to that rail i think yeah he was oh, trying anything it. but that but he also played it very soft uh, a little bit more would have been nice going to go with inside here. Play the two ball to the side pocket. Yeah, I think so. Would probably try to run softly into the eight, but with enough speed that if you flick the eight that you don't stay there. Or is he going to try and drop right in between? Dropped into it just right. the 10 took away some speed just okay oh close to the side on the wrong side of the four well He's he have to he could have ended up on the rail with a scratch in the corner of the four so leaving himself in front of the side actually makes him able to draw his way out of the scratch it's gonna have to go up to the head rail and back Seven ball, where are you? No, not there. Nice shot. Good recovery. Very good speed. This is going to get him on the hill. 
or should be getting him on the hill with how the balls are laying. Four balls. Away from clinching the match. I'm surprised he went up that high with the cue ball there. Still in good shape. Well, he might be opting now to just float it in and shoot the 10 in the side. Just cross over, straight over. You see, he was also pointing. He was wanting to be more straight on the 9 yeah. to come back where the cue ball is now. That's a good thing. Everything is okay as long as you don't get straight. You know, with that 9 ball. That's the main thing. Nice speed, perfect position in the corner pocket for the match. This 10 ball for the match to go 3 2 up to get on the hill. Oops, <laughs> I was gonna say, I was looking at. Uh, at I was thinking we were at three to one. I missed it. Well, Getting a little late for me. David is one game away. Some good safety shots back and forth. Just Allen who kicked a little bit softly on that ball and caught it also too thick. And then he sold out. Not many misses from both sides, so quality-wise pretty One good. One ball Make straight in. Seven ball. And look how he got on the two. Does the two ball go by the four? The I answer don't think is I don't think so, but the combo goes. He looks pretty straight on the combo as well. It's just a big risk on, yeah, where is the two ball really going to go? What are you going to get on the two? Probably two rails for the... I think that it, you've got the four, the two ball will track long rail, bottom long rail, and come back out next to the three. So I would be expecting it to do. So probably gonna try and shoot the two in the bottom side pocket in this view. Oh, caught the double kiss. No man's land here. About one shot away from getting in line here. Will he go for the shot or we go for the safe? After shooting a four rail, 10 ball, I think he goes for the shot. Doesn't want to go to the hill, so. He went safe. And, and a good one did. at that. Yep. Did very well. Quite some pace on this. Oh, just barely missed it. All the way around it. And a double scratch. Yeah, this could be it for Puerto Rico, or at least for today. Just that the first match. It all. Just the first match of the group, but. Carmen Maldonado. 
looking on and saying, uh-oh. Settled for the longer shot instead of trying to come back towards his object ball. <coughs> yeah, one more good shot needed here on the five. Then again, same preference thing we talked about earlier, going long Forward wheel, long wheel. Yeah. David played it twice a long reel before, so I'm expecting him to do the same thing. Well, I would be playing inside all day long. I like this. Uh, I like this coming between the just rail, rail. Yeah, nicely done. He's perfect on the eight. Something really, really strange would need to happen here. Well, there's. So has to go from the nine to the ten. Not that it's a problem, but the speed could be off. Yeah, it's perfect. And it's not going to be from there. So ten ball for the match. Looks like this is going to be it. This is this crowd. And down it goes. <laughs> team Spain takes down Team Puerto Rico. I believe Spain meets the Philippines tomorrow? Yep. Oh, no, no, Puerto Rico meets the Philippines tomorrow. Okay. Well, this has been George Teche and Tim DeRuiter bringing you the live action here in Puerto Rico. Tim? Good night. Yeah, good night. See you tomorrow.